Hey everyone, today I'll be going over Elite Code 1941. Uh, check if all characters have equal number of occurrences. So really, um, this is just counting all the characters, making sure that the counts are all equal. So if we get this test case here, uh, we can see that A has two, uh, B has two, and C has two, that's equal. We get another test case, it's A, 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 B, B. And we see that A has three, B has two, not equal. So this would be true, this would be false. And that actually uh, is the case we can see over here. Another thing we want to note is we look in the constraints and we see that S only consists of lowercase English letters. So to count these characters, we can actually just use an int array. I'll call this counts. And uh, we'll call this 26 uh, because this is every single character, every single lowercase English character. So this is going to be our count. And basically what we want to do is we also want to keep track of a max count. Uh, the reason why we do this is because every single count or occurrence should be the max occurrence uh, because they should all be equal. So like uh, say that each one is two occurrence, the max will be two, they should all be equal to two. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna go for each character in uh, S. So we'll do two car array to turn it into a car array. Then what we'll do is we'll increment counts. Uh, so C minus A plus plus. So we do this, uh, we can shift it by A because basically like A minus A will be zero. Uh, you can subtract cars in Java, so that's how you do that. And this will like uh, basically count each character's occurrence. So then what you want to do next is you actually want to set the new max. I'm not sure why we do that. But we'll set the new max to be counts of C minus A. So this will like find our max occurrence ever. Now, what we want to do is now what we want to do is we want to go back to counts. So let's go to each count in counts. And what did I say? Well, we need to make sure that every single character's occurrence is equal to max. So one trick is, is there, we might not have seen a character, which will mean that that count is zero and it won't be able, equal to max. So we really want to make sure whether it's a zero or not, and make sure that it's equal to max. So uh, if count is uh, not equal to zero and count is uh, not equal to max. So basically, have we seen this character before and is it not equal to max? Well, we know that we can just return false because it's violated it because every single non-zero count should be equal to max. If we get down here, we know that there's no issues. We can just return true. Uh, let's run this. And we'll see if we get true. Uh, let's submit this. And you'll see we beat 100 on runtime and uh, 93 on speed. So let's talk about time and space complexity. Um, time is just going to be O of N. And here's why uh, this first loop uh, it's just O of N, we're just going through each character in the string. Uh, the second loop, we're really just going through counts, which is always going to have 26, so it's just O of N. Uh, the space is going to be constant, and this is because we're only using this counts array, and it's only going to be bounded to a size of 26 always with this constraint of the problem. So we know that it's just a O of 26 or O of 1, right? So yeah, I hope this made sense. Uh, I hope it was easy. Uh, enjoy.